Good morning. Today, um, I just want to share something that's been on my heart this morning from Deuteronomy 32 and 35. It says, the Lord's, this is in the, the song of Moses. The Lord says, to me belongs vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slip in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them will will make haste or will happen speedily. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servant's sake. When he sees that their power is gone, when he sees that their strength is gone and there is none left or kept in sight. Shut up or left. Um, I just want to share this morning, you know, I was just feeling like, man, I... I got a lot going on, you know what I mean? I know I've probably said this to you guys before, but, you know, I'm flipping houses, um, I'm in ministry, I have two toddlers, you know, um, and I just, I just got a lot going on, you know, but in ministry, I guess I'm just doing the Bible study and, and preaching on Sundays, not every Sunday, a couple Sundays a month. And I go to different places. And then Saturday mornings was, was uh, you know, we go to um, the city and help the homeless people. And then I have, like, another thing I do one Thursday a month. But I, I just have a, a lot of different things going on. I haven't done the Saturday morning thing consistently in, in a while. I just went a few weeks ago. But um, I'm just feeling really tired. And I'm trying to really um, figure out where you know, how to balance all these things, you know, and as I was praying this morning and just feeling like, man, Lord, I just, just miss that, um, like drive the zeal. I mean, I have the drive, but not the same. Um, now I'm just kind of like feeling tired and exhausted, but I remembered this word. Um, the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he sees that their power is gone and there's none shut up or left. And in the context of the scripture, he's talking about how he brought, he's bringing judgment on his people. Um, and until that they stop finding strength in themselves. And I mean, he, he's trying to bring judgment and calamity upon people to to bring them to the end of themselves. And like he says right here, and he shall say, where are their gods, the rock in whom they trusted, which ate their sacrifices and drank the wine? You know, now you will see that there is no God with me. You know, I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal. And there's none that can deliver out of my hand. But but basically in, the, in this scripture, he's telling, he's showing us that part of what he does is intentionally bringing people situations in this context it's you know calamity and evil um to get people to stop trusting in foreign gods and and uh worshiping idols to worship him and see him but in the same way on a smaller level for us he's constantly you know like i was saying yesterday putting us in positions where we're being, you know, exhausting our own strength and forcing us to, to look to him. Just like it says right here, when he sees that their strength is gone and there is none shut up or left, when he sees that you're finally at the end of yourself, when you, when you come and you have no confidence in the flesh, that is where you will find confidence in the Lord, confidence in, that's when you're ready. That's when you're emptied. That's when you're in a position to where you can be filled with the Spirit to receive strength for the day. And just remember what Jesus says, uh, give me this day my daily bread. Every day, I believe, we need to come to the point where our own strength is exhausted and our own flesh, any confidence in that. And we have to trust solely in the Lord. So let's just relax in that today. Amen.